Texas rig, kind of wacky style Senko here. Let's see what we can do on the first cast here. There's one. Got one. There he is. <sighs> All right. Guy right here. Nice little one. So you got him on this. I don't know what you want to call it. Kind of Texas wacky rig. I don't know. It's got a little eight one eighth ounce little bullet weight here with a little these are actually salmon hooks, so little kind of more of a finesse hook. With a little, I think it's morning daytime Senko here, so. Seemed to hit it right when I, sh I was shaking it. It's like really slow. I picked it all the way up off the bottom, shake it a little bit, and let it go back down. As soon as it fell back down is when he grabbed it. Got the same rig, different Senko. I lost my other one, caught about two fish on it before my GoPro died. Um, so this one's a green pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. One of my favorite Senkos to sink fish got this little canal here love this canal lots of fish in it lots of good fish just got to know how to fish it and make sure they don't see you so let's see what we can do there's one got one out from under the bush just bring it up out of the group let it sink fall right down there's a lot of grass down in here let it sink right down into the grass Let it sink right down into the grass, pull it out of the grass. It's pretty hard to get out of this grass, so I pull it up pretty hard. Then I bring it up to the top, bring my pole all the way up. And then all I do, fish, little guy, caught under the bush not too long ago. But like I was saying, you know, <clears throat> I throw it out there a little bit, try and get under. There's a big bush right here, and that bush holds a lot of fish under it. When I was doing it, I was letting it sink all the way down as far as I could let it go into this thick matte grass that's on the bottom here. And I just let it sink all the way down into it and then pull it up out of it. It's pretty tough to get it out, so you gotta give it a little, you know, a little bit of a jerk to get out of it. Once you get out of it, lost my weight. Uh, so anyways, once you pull, you pull up out of it and then you sit it up there, get it on top of that grass as you pull it out and you bring it up, pull up about as high as you can get it right here and you just start shaking. Nice little subtle shake, makes it move a little bit and then you let it drop back down and usually they love to hit it on that dropper right when you twitch it and bring it out of the grass again. One of my favorite ways to fish a Senko for sure. There's one. There he is. Got his attention from out. Oh he's darting for the bush. Oh he's got me wrapped up in the bush. No. Oh no. It's a little guy. Oh he got himself free. There we go. Yep there he is. Freed himself thank god. He's darting for every kind of piece of cover he can find. Ooh, it's a better one. Best one I've caught out of this this little. This is probably the best one. Maybe about a pound, pound and a half. Let's see if I can get this hook out. There we go. Little guy. Pretty aggressive in here, let me tell ya. Alright. Let you go, buddy. Death by far the best one I've caught in that canal so far today at least. I'm gonna try and move spots here. It's working, but you don't wanna catch them all in one spot. 